Now, other interesting culture news, you have Bud Light. Are they maybe buying Twitter comments and likes? Now, I say this because we're starting to see the force fall back a little bit from the overwhelming critique of their business blunders on the Twitter sphere, where they just get ratioed in minutes. Now they still are, but positive comments are making through to actually be seen. And I don't believe them personally, and I'll explain why. Now, last Friday, they said something like, what was it? They said, Back, the backyard is calling, which I was surprised they didn't get, get, they didn't get boycotted. That's very pejorative and discriminatory just to people who don't have backyards. Some people still live in apartments. How dare they assume that, actually, no, they're an average Bud Light loser may not, uh, user. I said user, not loser. That was a Freudian slip, perhaps, I might say. But do they really have, now that's a really good question. No, I digress. Now, it looks like that tweet within 12 hours got 140,000 views. And it only got 450 likes. So the ratio is still bad. That's 0.32% of people liked that tweet. Now, I interesting, I looked at the dozens of positive responses to that tweet from Twitter, or rather from Bud Light on, on Twitter, and there are people with zero followers. And I looked even more to it. There were more people who hadn't tweeted in years. I don't know how it's possible to have zero followers. Even I have a couple hundred. If you follow me at NIC, T-O-P-P-I-N-G, you can follow me on Twitter. See my brilliant puns, perhaps? Well, moderate puns. They'll be brilliant someday. But they don't seem real. If you don't have zero followers and you haven't tweeted for years, who's doing this? Is it a computer? Is it someone who's hijacking an old legacy account? And then how do accounts, how those accounts still exist? Because Elon, months back, they said they're going to deactivate accounts that do not tweet at least, or tweet or perform an action on Twitter at least once a month. So if some of these haven't tweeted for years, how are they still around? That's not a question in and of itself. Now, it looks like the top liked response was actually, of course, a parody of it. And it was two men holding the beer in a love pose. Now that got 6,137 views in the first 12 hours and 403 likes, which again, I know public schools, the math scores at all time low. So we'll do a little fun math today. That is 6.57% of people liking it. So 6.57% people liked that tweet. As opposed to the original tweet, that percentage of like was 0.32%. Now, the second most liked tweet was actually someone who took the Photoshop of the people holding the Bud Light, put them on a steamroller, and then of course it's gonna roll over a bunch of Bud Light cans. Now, that one got 6,174 views and 363 likes, which a little bit of math, that's a 5.88% of people who liked the tweet and saw the tweet. So they're still getting ratioed, but a couple positive comments are making it through. I can't help but think why. Now, granted, when you click the hidden responses, which is where the juiciest ones, most interesting ones are, they're still overwhelmingly the one of the cliche. They have the douchebag sitting above the grave with the peace sign, and they put Alyssa Hydrostyle's face on it with the you know Bud Light established, and then they died. That's still one of the most popular responses, which is, Moderately entertaining and accurate, but I suspect that Bud Light is hiding it so they could mitigate and avoid any lawsuits from her. Granted, it was her fault, but I digress. I want to know where these tweets are coming from that are positive. Time shall tell. Maybe there'll be a full investigation. We'll find something out. Now, thank you again for taking the time to tune in. I really appreciate it if you take the time to subscribe. We're trying to get to 3,000 subscribers by the end of July, and we're getting closer and closer and closer. Also, don't forget to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers. Heck, Tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone, just stay safe and fight the good fight.